What up, though? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Keish. Make sure you like, you comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you know every time I'm posting. This is how the intro coming because it's busting, busting, busting. Hey, now let's get into the video. Alright, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to actually starving. So I went and got me some Waffle House or whatever, whatever. You know, can't never go wrong with the Waffle House. For those of you that's new, my name's Keisha. If you didn't know, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like, you comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you know every time I'm posting. Um, you know, I've been doing a little work and shit today, so I fucked around and got hungry, but I was craving a um steak. Now, I ain't want to just go wasting no 30 some 40 some dollars on no steak, so I went to Waffle House. I got the, I don't know if y'all can see it, but look, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. Look, I got the cheese eggs, because you got to have them. This the toast, this the grits. I don't eat um hash browns. I don't eat hash browns. Because I don't think the middle of the hash brown be done. I don't eat, I don't eat hash I feel like at Waffle House or any place that do hash browns, they just do the burner outside. Like, honestly, that's not enough for me. So, yeah, like I was saying, God damn shit, I don't eat hash browns. I don't eat hash browns because I feel like the middle of the hash brown not, 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 not done. I feel like... My bad. I feel like the potato raw. <laughs> but whatever. I got a... Got a steak. Fire. Fire! Yo. Steak and eggs. And I also... Was craving a damn waffle today. Let me show y'all what my waffle look like, though. I told her blueberry. They want my waffle looking like. Yeah. Mm. Oh, fire. Look delicious. But yeah. So yeah, I'm doing a little mukbang or whatever. It's time it's a Waffle House mukbang. Next time, I don't know. I never know. You never know what I be eating. Because I love food. It's like my, one of my favorite things. No cap. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to see all my food. I got drinks. I ain't want to get no fruit punch out of there, but I got a Tahitian treat. Tahitian treat. If you didn't know, that's the drink that your parents never wanted you to fucking have. It was like the... I don't know. My mama act like that was goddamn liquor. And we were little... Oh, don't, don't eat my... Don't drink my... Whatever, whatever. But yeah. I got all this shit, y'all. I got to taste some first. I'm the type that, uh, come on now, grips. Come on now, buddy. Come on. I'm the type that puts sugar in my grits. I put sugar in rice. I put sugar in grits. Honestly, if it's white, it deserves sugar. If it's white, it deserves a little flavor. However you take that, that's how you take it. But if it's white, it deserves fucking flavor. So, sugar. Lady at Waffle House, I gotta go in the kitchen. Damn, Lady at Waffle House said they ain't had no sugar packets. Damn. Honestly, when you go to Waffle House, it really be the eggs. The eggs would be the best part. I don't know how they get that cheese. I don't know how they get that cheese and, um... And them eggs to blend so well in that little skillet thing. But baby, that's some motherfucking shit right there. Y'all so hungry. I ain't really ate nothing. I ain't really ate shit. I've been goddamn cleaning and doing shit. I was.
I seen him when he was putting the season on my stuff. You know. In restaurants, they don't be trying to season shit enough. They be just trying to do a little bit. This little butter knife ain't getting it, though. That shit's gonna break. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving me like I'm gonna go get the sugar in a second, but I gotta set it. I gotta set myself up for success. <laughs> yeah. I only eat I ain't gonna say I only eat, but I prefer strawberry jelly. I don't know, grape just don't sit right with me. It don't have that. It don't have that same taste. Well, of course not, cause it's great, but I'm just saying, it's not. It don't give me that same feeling that strawberry. A bit of egg me. Every time. All right, let me go find some sugar. All right, try. I don't know if y'all can see. Probably not, but it's the mountain of sugar, oh, shit, sugar on top. Got it just grits ain't good if they ain't goddamn got no sugar. In them. Now see, um, I realize a lot of people in the south don't usually eat grits. I know I stay in Memphis or whatever, but I'm not from Memphis. So, back home, I grew up on grits. My grinds and them, they would make them for us. Grits or oatmeal was our kind of thing growing up. Never really did hash browns growing up. Never really did potatoes and stuff growing up. Like, I didn't start doing potatoes and stuff until I got, you know, until I got older and... By the time I got older, I was still staying in Memphis and shit. I've been here about, I don't know, I was 12 when I got here. I was 12 when I, when I, when my mom moved us here. Yeah. I think I need a little bit more sugar though. But I was about 12 when I got moved here. And I just decided never to leave. But, I was saying this to say, I didn't grow up eating hash browns. Hash browns wasn't something that we had. I done had a whole conversation about hash browns with y'all because I really hate them motherfuckers. They gave me some A1 or whatever, but I don't really care for A1. Let's see what this tastes I'm like. I'll put some butter on here. But yeah. Um I guess I should do a a, a background video of myself. So I can let y'all know a little bit more about me. But for the most part, I'm not from the South. I'm not from Memphis. I'm from Cleveland. Land of the free. Land of the who? P-I-M-P. Me. But I, I was born there. I grew up there. Um, my whole family lives there. Mm. My, my mom's side and my dad's side of the family live there. <laughs> Crazy. But the whole family stays there. Um, now, <clears throat> here in Memphis with me, I got my sister. No, that's my really. She gonna, I believe she gonna ride wherever I'm going. But I got her here with me and my brothers. I got two younger brothers. They kind of here, sort of, sort of, sort of, every now and then. 
But for the most part, it's just me and her. <clears throat> now, she got a little, um, she got a significant other or whatever. I don't know, I'm getting into that shit. But, that's why y'all never see her in none of my videos like that because me and her don't live together. But, we do stay fairly close. <laughs> um, my mom, um, she don't stay in Cleveland no more either. Even, she don't stay in Memphis either. <laughs> but, for the most part, it's just me and my sister here. And, don't get me wrong, little times get tough or whatever because... You know, you don't really have nobody to call on for nothing. You don't really have nobody to give no guidance on many things or nothing. And when you got questions, it's easy to call somebody and, you know, be like, hey, so I need help doing this or doing that. But realistically, outside of the conversation, they really can't help. So I always thought maybe I should move back home or something. But... I think I get more excitement out of my life doing things on my own. I get more excitement out of, my, out of life doing it on my own. Like, I feel like if I was maybe around family or whatever, I probably wouldn't be in the same particular situation or, I don't know, maybe my life would be different. I always think that. Maybe my life would be different had I had a move back home when I turned 18. But I also think what I what I have, what I have now, or what like you know, would I be this independent person, this driven person for the most part? Well, I have the ambition, the ambition that I have now, if I was still living back home. And honestly, I don't think I would. Because, I don't know, I think I would be so comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. I would be so comfortable in the environment that I'm in that the dreams and the ambition and all that stuff, I probably wouldn't tap into. So, for the most part, I'm glad I'm here. I probably probably do a video where you know y'all y'all can get to know me a little bit or whatever. Uh, that probably be one of my next video. But for now, mm, I'm gonna kind of probably gonna smoke me a blunt. And I wanted to smoke a blunt before I did this. Rain, bruh. Why he ain't make my steak? I should have told him to cook it some more. I'm going to make me a meal. But I like my stuff a little burnt. Just a little bit. I'm going to flavor come out. But. Y'all think I should do another mukbang? Uh, let me know what food y'all think I should do next. I cannot do fish, so don't let fish be in the choices. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Probably about to pause on this food. Pour me a smoke break. And get on the game a little bit. And <clears throat> make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Try your post notifications on so you know every time I'm posting. And I'll see you in the next video. Holla!